So this is kind of funny because this is their Christmas money. Yeah. But they earned it <laughs> by doing tasks. Ready? Ready? Come over here. And since they've both kind of been under the weather, we thought we would use a little bit of the grandma. Yeah. Fifty dollars each. Yeah. And we so, were supposed to do something fun today, and we couldn't. Whoa. That's for me and you to race on. Look at we can race our cars. Whoa. Awesome. You guys. A bath time dolly. A bath time cabbage patch kid. She can go in the bathtub with you. Oh, she's dancing. Are you so excited? <laughs> The best is the smell of those. They still have that cabbage patch smell. They smell like smell. like berries or whatever it is. Yeah, PJ. Merry Christmas from Grandma Zundel. That thing's sweet, dude. Look, it comes with cars. Look, it comes with two cars too. Yeah, and and uh, and I want to get one car. I want to get one car. Oh, they do still smell really good. Smell it. Smell your dolly. She can float in the tub. So cool. End of flashback. Good morning, sweet world. Having a fun little breakfast this morning, huh? Decided to start the day off with some Chick-fil-A breakfast. I think that's the first time I've gotten the kids Chick-fil-A breakfast since we've moved here to Arizona. We used to do it like once a month in Utah and it was always kind of fun. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Do you know what that day is? Well, I'll have to teach you more about it. My first thought when I look at this monument, I think of the, hold on, let me focus. I think of the Martin Luther King, I had a dream speech, which happened right here. This whole place was filled with people. A huge moment in history. This place, the city is just filled with like stuff like that to me. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. But tell us first. No, 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 don't show them. Don't show them? No. Okay, just tell me then. What's what's going on with your sticker chart? So what have we been working on? I sleep in my bed the whole night. I'm going to get stickers on there and sleep in my bed the whole and get a toy. Yeah, so how many stickers do you have right now? I have uh, only three. Only three, and how many more do you need to get the toy? I need two. So, Good job. you get stickers by doing certain things, like you said, one of them is staying in your bed all night. Yeah. Is there anything else you can do to earn stickers? Uh, yeah, he got, he got an extra sticker this day because he took his medicine. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And, and Sissy gets stickers after, after her get don't after her get stickers and her get the toy. Yeah, cool. we're gonna start her sticker chart when she goes. In yeah, the so the sticker chart is actually really working well. Yeah. Noah is working towards getting a Marshall Paw and Patrol Marshall toy, stickers. hence he keeps picking the Marshall stickers. So yeah. this has actually worked well for us. He, as you guys know, has been trying to come into our room and sleep in our bed in the middle of the night, and sometimes we're just too tired to move him back or bring him back yes. to his room. But you know. It's been very good to go in steps. Like we, it was hard to get him out of our bed. But once we got the blow-up bed, that yeah. helped. Getting the blow-up bed So helped. during the holidays, we had this little inflatable portable air mattress for toddlers, and he would just run and get in that, and then he wasn't bothering us. But we still want him to sleep in his own room. So then yes. we moved the kids together, Which and I think that actually helped, think has helped a lot. Yep. I think it's helped a lot. More so now. Now that he knows he can do it, and that he knows he's not alone, he's waking up way fewer times during the night. Mm-hmm. And now, the incentives, the sticker chart. He really understands it. He has completely changed his routine at night. We don't really see him. He stays no, in his bed. he doesn't cry. When yeah. he wakes up, he'll come get me, but there's no tears, there's no like upset, no what, uh, it's, it's good. So, it's been good. I've tried sticker charts in the past, they've worked all right, but this time it has just been yes. amazing, been, and it will be worth every single dollar of that. Yes, Marshall. I mean, I've been trying to like talk about this this sticker chart for a few weeks, months maybe, and he's finally on board since he really wanted that Zuma, and now he's like, okay, let's do it. Let's get those stickers. It was hard for him to understand though that he just earned a sticker and not a toy that day, but yeah. he's getting the hang of it. Mm -hmm. Well, update in the sleep department. We've got to make sure all our people are sleeping before we start losing our sleep again with that baby. Although with Penelope, 
she uh, she slept really well she through the night. And it's kind of a flip of the coin sometimes, and we'll see it. We'll see what happens. I don't think anything will ever be as bad as every night at midnight. Yeah. For all you OGs <laughs> out there. He actually looks almost completely bald while filming this. He's usually crying, but not tonight. He's chill as a cucumber. What? It doesn't what? matter how much sleep I what? got that day. What? I might have only gotten an hour, you say, but it don't matter because I have to say that. Every night at midnight, every night at midnight. Got a noche. Say it. Say it. Working on getting organized. Jen made this list. We got our meals, things we're gonna buy, etc. Oh, don't show them. What? That's one of our goals this year. No, I know. I've been slacking the last couple weeks since Christmas. Just good to so be organized. But yes, my big calendar has worked wonders. This is gonna start working wonders. It's good. Ooh, what's that on your cheek? Honestly, I kind of feel like she might almost be ready to start potty training when she's around two. Yeah. When she starts talking more. She's gone in the bathroom. Me. She's gone in the bathroom a couple times. Yeah, and, the and she just wants to take her <laughs> diaper off all day. <laughs> hey PJ, here's a question for you. you. Have your own sticker chart? Do you know? Did you know the baby's a boy? Can you say boy? Boy. <laughs> I don't know how much we have talked about this on the vlog yet. Uh, sometimes I'm like, shouldn't PJ be saying more words? And I remember when Noah was kind of close to this age, people were like, he should be talking more, he should be talking more. And it's something we're always paying attention to. She definitely uh, has started to month. pick up a lot yeah. more words. And I feel like by the time she's two, she'll definitely be saying a lot more. I think she's just on the same track that Noah was. And we just forget. Yeah, you know? I went back and watched some vlogs. So I was like, ah, oh, they're not like, too different. When but PJ was born, Noah was not talking at all. Hey, look who's jumping. PJ, are you feeling better? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, let's see you jump. Show me how you jump. She's like, look at me, look at me. Ooh, spins and all sorts of tricks. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how high you can jump. Can you jump really high? Can you jump really high? Yeah. Nice. I'm over here now. No. I'm butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> She's gotten really good at communicating. Today she was like using sign language, like pointing at things, being like, oh no, no, no. And I was like, okay. Now just get those words going. Just get those words going. And I just. The thing that's crazy to me is I can't even imagine what our conversations are going to be like because I just love talking to Noah. And what is PJ? PJ, what are you like? And thus ends hopefully our last day cooped up inside. Mm -hmm. Guys, we kept the kids inside for a week, took them to a park where we never see people go, brought disinfectant wipes. No, we didn't do that. We're going to start doing that everywhere we go. And uh, anyways, Want from our... <laughs> What's Can up? I say something? Yeah. They had a very minor case. They didn't even get spots on their hands. Noah had no spots on his hands, only on his heel. That was it. And they're gone now, which is great. From talking to a lot of different people, just a little quick research here and there, our understanding was that they were no longer contagious. So yes. we don't intentionally try and like put others at risk and we're not like trying to be selfish like that. Literally, we've been inside no. for an entire week and been stressing mainly about Jen getting it because She's holding a baby. If I get yeah. it, like, okay, then I quarantine myself probably to the office area and just drink water and smoothies all day. <laughs> but I did, I, I talked to a lot of my friends here in Arizona who have had it and they've taken their kids to the doctor and the doctor had told them that the containment period was the 24 hour when they have the fever. So that's why we went off of that. But, well, you know, and it's, I, I think it's probably different. even longer than that, but we didn't do it. We like, we've been, guys, we've been inside. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. And then, so when everyone was like freaking out, I was like, oh, that, that's one of those. I mean, everyone has their own opinion, and that's cool. I'm not saying you guys are wrong or anything. We'll uh, be extra cautious even more so next time. So I appreciate those comments as well. Really, truly. I'm not like trying to just dog on everyone. Uh, to end today's vlog, though, and hopefully our last day inside because this has been over a week now. Mm -hmm. What's one of your goals for this year? We My really main goal, I mean, it's kind of personal, but not really, I guess. It's to be more kind in my parenting, in my discipline parenting. You know, you gotta be stern, but sometimes I'm a little like, you know, I just wanna be a little kinder. And I tell like, no to be kind tough. every day, but I need to remind myself to be kind. 
every day as well. That's a good goal. So yeah, kindness is my uh, 2018 goal for nice. me and my children. <laughs> cool. What's yours? Um, I want to be just overall healthy, mm -hmm. mentally, physically, spiritually, treating others. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also want to have everything set to, like, I don't think we're going to buy a, new, a house this year. Mm -mm. Because mm -hmm. you, you've enjoyed living here. We like living in this space. And the baby's coming and stuff. I'm not ready to move yet. <laughs> not ready to move. I'm not ready to pack up again. But I want to have like everything financially ready. Mm -hmm. And I actually feel like that's super close. I mean, like we could, if, if it was like, hey, you guys have to move out of your house today. Like, yeah, we could actually do it today. I mean, that would be a drastic decision. That but I want to be like comfortably yeah. ready and have everything ready to mm -hmm. go. So like, yeah. I think preparing it was like, We'll be preparing this 2018 for that, and then 2019 will really buckle down. I've been giving myself more time, like dedicating more time to myself, not like selfishly, but I feel like that's helped. Got other goals here and there too. It's gonna be a crazy year. How about you? Yeah. Any goals? Yeah. Stop touching her poop and stop oh, dropping don't our do that. food on the ground. And say, learn to talk. Yeah. Learn to talk. Yep. By the end of the year, you'll be talking like crazy, huh? <laughs> we won't be able to get your little chatter box shut. I want you to need one more sticker. You're going to get more stickers. I like that goal. It's temporary goal. I like that goal. <laughs> Alright guys. Let me know what some of your guys is. And as always, appreciate you guys for being there. This is just a realization that thank goodness we're not stuck in the cold because those constant days inside. Oh, I just, we did not enjoy them. It's fun to get out and do things. Excited to do that again. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Like the last part of it. Oh